In this video, we shall explore the steps involved in cross-sectional study design. A set of all members of the study is known as the population. It is difficult to involve all members of a population in a study. So, a representative sample is used for the study. Usually, the time available for a study is limited. For the purpose of the cross-sectional study, the representative sample is divided into different sections. Four sections are considered in this example. Those with disease and with exposure are categorized in the first section. Those without disease and with exposure are categorized in the second section. Those with disease but without exposure are categorized in the third section. The fourth section contains those without disease and without exposure. The first and second section are used to calculate prevalence of disease among those who are exposed. The third and fourth section are used to calculate prevalence of disease among those who are not exposed. 